Welcome. Your trade of the day is always brought to you by Day Trade of the World. It's going to be Coinbase. Big rally last week. Every day of the week it was to the upside. Coming into some big levels looking for the reversal. Now I know everybody wants Fahad's Apple trade to be trade of the day. Maybe we'll have him do one uh, tomorrow. But it is going to be coin here. And it's not that I don't believe in the move to the upside. But when you pop the daily chart up, the first thing that I, the first thing I looked at was, well, what happened the last time we got to $80? You can see very clearly, got to 80, rejected it for a couple of days, and then ran away from that price. Now, it did wick through, just there's 80 there, so you can see the wicks above before abjectly rejecting, lower high at 76, and then started trending back into the downside. So you come in on Monday morning after kind of breaching that 76 briefly on Friday, next level test up is going to be 80. Do you get a chance to short 80? No, doesn't happen. Uh, you're already back beneath, and at the open, you're actually in a channel 77.5 to about 76.50. So you're kind of in that pocket above that 76 level when it just flops to the downside. So didn't really have that short I was looking for, the pop off the open beneath that 80 level, and then short the first pop into the 80. Into 80. It never happened. We end up flushing. But I want to be net short. So the first thing I'm thinking about is, okay, as long as we're respecting that lower high. Also want to look at the Friday high as well, just above 76. But that's the general area I want to be into that short position. So that once we get those lower consolidations, I work into a short. This ends up being beneath VWAP here, probably too far away at 75. End up scalping most of it out here down at 74. But then when it breaches this level, we wait for it to get back to 76. That was the next level on the daily chart. It tests higher, wicks to 77, then shorting just above that 76. That works out to that Friday high that we we're talking about on the daily chart. It then plays off VWAP a couple of times, reload 76 and a half out at VWAP, taking dollar scalps in each particular case. Then it finally starts to break VWAP, but 75 even is holding still. So we do get some more shares out there, anticipating we'd see the top end of the range. It never happens. It breaks all the way down into the low, where we take a couple of other legs out there, still looking for the ultimate breach. If this does follow through, I did expect that we could at least see 70 to 72. That has yet to happen, so if the trend holds, I still think there's a nice downward trend. Maybe shorting into VWAP this afternoon would make some sense, but holding on to that last piece for a break of that 73 low. It was all about the fact that it had multiple days in a row to the upside, it failed a major level, then held another major level for resistance. So we're able to play that short on Coinbase despite all the strength that it had last couple of weeks. That is why it's your trade of the day. As always, check that QR code below, get your trading journey started right.